Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with a video I'm very excited about. I mean, let me explain why. So it is gonna be a double unboxing, which I'm sure you've seen in the title of the fairy loot and owl crate box that I have for this month. And the reason I'm excited is because I've never really done this before. I've never opened them up in one video, but recently I asked if you guys preferred separate unboxing videos or if you liked them in my vlog, and a grand majority of you guys prefer separate videos per month for the unboxings, which I totally get because this is the content that you're signing up for. In a vlog, you don't even really know what's gonna happen sometimes, and it might not be in depth enough. But I was sitting there thinking that I would have to make two separate videos every single month for unboxings because I do get Owl Crate and Fairy Loot boxes because I'm a rep, and I thought, why can't I just unbox them in the same video. So we're trying it out for this one. It might not be the same next month, so please let me know if this is something that you enjoyed, if you like having them both opened up in the same video, if you'd prefer separate videos. You know, just keep giving me your opinions on unboxing videos because I'm here, I'm gonna soak it up, but I'm excited because I always get questions on whether you should subscribe to Owlcrate or Fairy Loot, and I'm always kind of left drawing a blank because I love both of the boxes basically evenly. The thing is, is I think that there are definitely months where I don't like or don't like as much one of the boxes as the other one, but the thing is the next month it kind of flip-flops. I feel like where like Owl Crate may fail, Fairy Loot will arise to the challenge and vice versa. And I always kind of say that to you guys, but I feel like you don't really believe me. And today when we unbox these, I guess you're gonna be able to know if I'm being honest. I mean, we'll see, you know, it's not like a hundred percent even, but when you divide it in between the 12 months, it, it, it evens out. I am going to leave timestamps right here, letting you know when each of the videos start. So my Owl Crate unboxing starts at this time, Fairy Loot starts at this time, just in case you guys only wanted to see one of the boxes, you have the option now, and hopefully this is kind of fun for you. It's, again, not a competition. I'm not, like, pitting them against each other or anything like that. I just really want to unbox these and have a good time. So yeah. I am going to start with the fairy loot box because this one I believe is actually not for this month so it's for May instead of June because fairy loot is a month behind because of COVID. Like in timely manner fairy loot goes first. So let's just kind of begin. I'm so excited actually. This is gonna be so much fun. You're probably not nearly as excited as I am. That's okay. I can be excited enough for the both of us. And again, I'm not really <laughs> pitting them against each other, but at the end, I'm kind of curious to see how the items compare to each other. So maybe we'll kind of like go over that and see if like my theory is true that where like one box fails, the other box wins and you know, you get the best of both worlds in the end. Ideally, the perfect situation is that you have enough money to subscribe to both. That way you never miss out. But I definitely understand that that's not a possibility. I know it wasn't a possibility for me before I became a rep. It's just but you know, money doesn't grow on trees, and um, I'm very lucky to receive both of these boxes now, and I'm super aware of that, so I hope that this video actually kind of helps some of you guys decide on what kind of box you might prefer, and yeah, if this continues, then I guess like you'll always be able to see which box you prefer in only one video. The... What's that word when like you complete a lot of goals in one? So anyways, we are starting with the fairy loot box. I love that I'm holding my little flip knife, but we are starting with the fairy loot one. I am again a rep for both fairy loot and owl crate, but my fairy loot code is Brittany and you get 5% off your first order on a monthly subscription plan. So if you do end up wanting to try out fairy loot, be sure to use my code. I don't get anything from it, but it does help you out and it lets fairy Luke know that I guess you saw my video and you enjoyed it. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's open it up. Have to be careful with this knife because it's way sharper. Let us oh, I caught I caught the card before it fell. <laughs> open her on up. Oh I oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this card. This is stunning. I am thinking of making a new collage on my wall like I had in my old house, and I feel like if I do, this is 1000% gonna have to be on there. I'm, oh, I love it. So I forgot, this is actually the April box, not 
the May. The Owl Crate one I believe is for May. This one is for April. None of the June boxes have come out yet. I don't know what year I'm in. Anyways, let's get going. The April theme for Fairy Loot is memories and you can just really feel that in this freaking print. It's just so stunning. We have this kind of like fey, elfish, beautiful, beautiful girl looking into this globe of light with all these memories. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? Exactly reminds me of like that globe of light and the dancing people is Anastasia or Anastasia you know the cartoon movie where she actually has that song where she's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know you know I used to love that song when I was a figure skater guys I had an artistic routine that I literally used that song for for five years. I did not want to give up that song. We just kept updating the routine. I loved it so much and whenever I hear that song it just brings back some like amazing ice skating memories. But yeah, this is exactly what that vibe is giving me. So let's put it aside. I did actually just kind of mildly spoil myself because I forgot that the secret book is supposed to be in this box and I just read that but that's okay. The first item is this and I feel like it's another one of those like kitchen tea towel things or oh it's not which I'm kind of glad about because I never end up using those it's a tote and it's a nice tote this is really freaking thick and huge and it's oh my gosh it's a throne of glass tote <laughs> you guys know I love Sergei Mouse I love throne of glass and this it says the court of Terrison on the front with like <laughs> and the back it says so they can look up at the sky no matter where they are and know Terrison is forever with them. Which is a quote kind of talking about the stag of Terrison because it is a constellation. I love this. This is actually, this is my favorite toad I've ever gotten. I had to think that through because I, I don't like making like favorite declarations, but this is 100% my favorite toad. It is ginormous and it's such nice material. Like it will not break. It's such thick canvas. I love it. And I really like the design dark green is like one of my more favorite colors. I'm obsessed. It's just, it's really nice. Okay, this is the first item. I need to calm down, you know? Oh my gosh, there was so much stuff under this little like thing. It all fell out. I didn't think anything was under it. That was kind of terrifying. It gave me like spider vibes, whatever. Did we get a washi tape? Oh, that's so exciting. Oh wait, I didn't tell you <laughs> who designed the tote bag by at Fantastical Feminism on Instagram. We love that. We got a little washi tape and I just want to like open her on up. I feel like this is probably, I was going to say Raven Boys because of the feather and the blue, but now that I'm thinking about it, there's an, a paintbrush on it, blue and gold feathers. This is probably a Daughter of Smoke and Bone washi tape and I love it. It actually kind of matches my nails right now. Ooh, we, we like that moment for me. It's so pretty and sparkly and we get so much of it. Now I've recently become kind of obsessed with washi tape because I've been wanting to like do more scrapbooking style journaling in my life journal. So this is coming at the perfect time in my life. It is a Daughter of Smoke and Bone washi tape. So I have great deductive reasoning skills, obviously. And it was actually designed by Till and Dill on Instagram. It's definitely my vibe. Ooh. Ooh, love it. Dang. I feel like it's gonna be hard for the Owl Crate one to beat this box, but this box is especially good than normal. We got this cute little bag, which you know that I love how they like separately bag things, and these little things are perfect to like tape into your journal for envelopes. Reusable. It's a pin! And it was created by That's Lovely Deer Shop, which is actually the pin shop run by Chami, who is here on booktube. So that's really amazing. I love her shop. And it's a memory vial pin. I really love the detail on this. And again, this is like another one of those subtle pins. When it says memory vial, I'm assuming it's Harry Potter. Oh, I love that. So it says, sometimes we all wish we had a personal pensive, don't we? We asked the Ministry of Magic if we could send these to you, but they seem to be all out. However, we did this amazing exclusive memory vial pin with That's Lovely Deer and I think that's adorable and I really really like this. I don't have much more to say on it. I feel like my memory of Harry Potter is currently spoiled because of everything that's been going on with the author obviously of Harry Potter so this is a lovely pin and that's what we're gonna focus on. This next thing in here are these little emoji sticker tabs. So I actually almost never end up using these because I'm very specific about the sticker tabs I use for my annotating. This is really cute and I like the quality of them. They almost feel like puff stickers, which is strange, but I like it. And they were actually made by Fairy Loop. It looks like the next thing is basically the secret book. So 
let's just dive in because I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. First of all, can we talk about the box? Because I'm gonna have to keep this. I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. It's just this really like whimsical lunar magic vibe with a hand sprinkling stardust. I mean, I'm picturing stardust and I'm ready for the secret book volume three. I love the secret books. This is hands down my favorite thing that Fairy Loot does and I just put them to such good use, so. This one feels like bigger than normal. Oop, okay. <laughs> oh, I like this. It feels like a perfect mix between the first book and the second book, which is a strange thing to say because I don't think like the vibes are the same at all, but it feels like it. We have like a more brown toned sprayed edge and the tones on the book are definitely like purple, gold, and black. And we have just a flying key, which I really like. I'm assuming that that's kind of like the flying key that's in Harry Potter, but it could definitely be any flying key. Why not? Are they all fantasy quotes? No, they're not. So let's see, let's see what the tie is. We have a Game of Thrones quote, never forget what you are for surely the world will not to make it your strength then it can never be your weakness armor yourself in it and it will never be used to hurt you and then lord of the rings memory is not what the heart desires that is only a mirror books are easily destroyed but worlds will live as long as people can remember them from unravel me remember that you are a wolf and you cannot be caged by sarah j mass from a court of wings and ruin memory is a traitor and a liar and a good-for-nothing thief from god's grave j Kristoff. we're fickle stupid beings with poor memory and a great gift for self-destruction from Mockingjay. I really feel like that quote is poignant as heck for this time and age. I really like this. I feel like it has to do with remembrance. Yeah, they all had like remembering in the kind of quote. Never forget who you are. Memories, heart desires. People can remember them. Remember that you're a wolf. Memories, a traitor. Poor memories. Yeah, so it feels like it's a memory. <gasps> oh, I forgot. I, I forgot that the theme of the month was memories. So that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I really like this. I still think I like the second book better just because that one had all the lunar vibes. I feel like the second book should have gone in this box, but whatever, you know, it, it's I'm just being picky at this point. And I'm obsessed with this. I think that Navarintel also was the one that did the artwork on this again. Yes. Cool. And it looks like the other two secret books are going to be available in the fairy trove in the coming months. If you have missed them or if you're not subscribed, you're still gonna be able to cop some of these because they're so cool. They're so cool. All right. I feel like, what is this? Ah, yes. It's a pin banner. It has to be a pin banner. Oh, I love this. Ah, I'm trying to make everything in my office be more of like black, white, silver kind of themed. And this pin banner, it's really working for me. It's really, really working for me. Oh my gosh. And I was just thinking that I needed a new one. So, I mean, I have, I have too many, honestly, but you can never have too many. I need more pins. That's the problem. I love this. It's just silver and it has like a gold foil or gold foiled, a silver foiled lion at the bottom. And it's a really decent size actually. And it's a Saint Germain pin banner that's inspired by the beautiful by Renee Audier and was designed by at Dust and Pages. I I really like this. Oh, this box is good, guys. Oh, shoot. I just saw the tarot cards. All right, let's 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 grab them. So, continuing with our Throne of Glass tarot cards, we have the next two in the bunch. Oh, I definitely thought they were gonna be couples again, and I'm kind of really glad they weren't because we have Manon as the Six of Cups with her flowing white hair. I love her. I love her. I love her. Manon's my favorite Throne of Glass character. Hands down. Not even a competition. And we have Dorian looking like a snack, honestly. They both look like snacks. This is a good, this is a good grouping. I'm very fond of this. I love these. And he's the Five of Cups. These are definitely tarot cards. I actually finally started putting them into like these little slots that I have and it is looking so cool. So, so cool. <sighs> I love them. And again, Gabriella Bujdoso is the one that's designing these cards. I love her artwork, so I'm not surprised that I love these. I'm not, I'm not even a little. Oh, we got two Throne of Glass items technically in this box. Okay, I feel like that has to be it. I honestly didn't expect so many things in the box because we were getting the secret book and the secret book I feel like is an expensive item and that they would have had more like throwaway items as I like to think of them, but really like, it was good. All right, let's grab the book, the bookie book. There's nothing else, right? Okay, cool. Let's unwrap her. I honestly have no idea what the book's gonna be, so I'm excited to figure this out with you guys. First, we have the little pamphlet, which we'll get to 
at the end. Ooh, I just saw red sprayed edges. That's stunning. We have the character print, which looks just so renaissance, like very, very renaissance. I'm intrigued. And the letter from the author on the back. Oh, I'm into these edges. Okay, and there has to be a bookmark. Okay, there she is. This bookmark. I love it. Okay, let's grab the book. Ooh, okay. I really love how the edges match this cover. Wow. Okay, so it's Incendiary by Zoreta Cordova. I haven't heard of this. I am Renata Convita. I have lived a hundred stolen lives. Now it's time to live my own. That gives me like um the new Schwa book that's coming out. What, what's that called again? That's giving me that vibe. Ooh, look at this we have our signature. I think that this one had, yeah, artwork. Okay, look at that. Wow, that is a nice trio. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be a love triangle. Now let's kind of quickly give you the summary. Renata was only a child when she was kidnapped by the crown. As a memory thief, the rarest and most feared of the magical Mariah, she was used to carry out the king's wrath, a siege that resulted in the deaths of thousands of her own people. Now Renata is one of the Whisperers, a rebel spy working against the crown. When Des, her commander, and the boy she's grown to love is taken captive by the notorious Principe Dorado. Renata, oh, so it's probably Renata, well, whatever. Renata must return to the palace and complete his top secret mission herself. Can she keep her cover even as she burns for vengeance against the brutal, enigmatic prince. Her life and the fate of Moriah depend on it. But returning to the palace stirs memories long locked away. As Renata grows more deeply embedded in the royal court, she uncovers a secret that could change the fate of the entire kingdom and end the war that has cost her everything. Ooh, this sounds cool. It's reminding me of Anastasia because... I already had that in my head, I feel like, but other than that, it's not that similar at all. It sounds cool though. I'm definitely intrigued. It sounds like it's gonna be a Spanish-inspired fantasy, which we all know that I love. So I can't wait to dive in. And let's go over the fairy scoop really fast. So we have our interview with the author and we have, ooh, the differences between our copy and the standard edition. I love our copy because the standard is just a little too red for me. And I really like how like the deep blues mix in with the black and the red. It's really stunning. And the read along is gonna be starting on June 8th. Sweet. And now we have next month's theme, which is gonna be desert dreams. Oh my gosh, all the Aladdin vibes. It says this month we're getting swept away in lands filled with fairy tales, magic, and gin. Put the kettle on and brew yourself a sweet mint tea to prepare for a dreamy adventure from palaces to sand dunes to magic oases. Oh, that sounds so lovely. And there's going to be items inspired by We Hunt the Flame, The City of Brass, An Ember in the Ashes, Rebel of the Sands, The Forbidden Wish, and more. Ooh. And the boxes are going to include an exclusive candle by Wiccan Fable, and I love Wiccan Fable candles, so I can't wait to see how that one is. And the featured book of the month is a captivating story inspired by Persian mythology. In this original fairy tale, a girl is cursed to be poisonous to the touch and it truly is a gem. This very little exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, and will be signed by the author. Fairy Loot's been coming through with these very, very exclusive editions. All right, that was awesome. I feel like, gosh, as far as like the favorite item of the box goes, they're all just so good. I'm actually shocked. I don't think it's the secret book. I mean, I love the secret book. I do, but I'm just so impressed by the tote bag and the washi tape. I, I just, everything was really good. If I'm gonna be honest, the only item in this box that I kind of felt like meh about, like the only throwaway item in my opinion was the little sticky tabs. And that's just because like, I don't use other sticky tabs for my annotations. So really everything else is almost exactly on the same level. Like even the print on the spoiler card, even the print on the spoiler card. Okay, I mean, let me put this away so that we can get into the Owl Creed unboxing and then we'll talk about everything at the end if you stay tuned. I forgot about the tarot cards. That actually might be my favorite item. Okay, so if you skipped over the fairy loot part, we are about to jump into the Owl Crate. And I'm hyped because this is extremely heavy and I just remembered that there's supposed to be two books in here. Well, one's gonna be a graphic novel and I'm... <laughs> even more excited. I felt a little crazy, like snapping open a knife as I said excited, but things will happen. Like I said earlier in the video, I am an Owl Crate rep, so if you use my code Brittany, you will get 10% off your first monthly subscription plan. So let us open it up. 
This is so cute. Ooh, I'm really liking the color theme for this spoiler card. I like that they've been doing kind of like a more cartoony style. It's just, it feels very, I don't know, it feels very them. And the theme for the month of May is Rebels with a Cause, which we stan Rebels with a Cause. I mean, we stan Rebels without a Cause in this household too, but if you got a Cause, I guess we'll still stan. And this is giving me very strong Avatar vibes because we have like our fire girl in the brown we have our earthbender, we have our waterbender, and then she's only a fan, so I'm assuming she's supposed to be an airbender. And I, I'm into that. I mean, they don't have to be benders, but I've been watching a lot of Avatar. So let's set that aside and dive in. Oh my gosh, there's so much of this, like, I hate this stuff. I know that it protects everything in the box, but I just hate it. Ooh, what? This looks so cool already. Okay, wait, I'm really excited about this. I think that they're all straws, and this is kind of perfect because I recently have lost like half my straws, my reusable straws, and I don't know where they are, so I definitely needed new ones. So the little bag itself says, so long as you fight the darkness, you stand in the light, which is a quote by Sabat here, and they are straws. Oh my God, there's so many. And we have two pipe cleaners in here. Oh wow, I'm excited. I'm so excited. They're all like different metal straws. We have a few that are bendy. We have some straight ones. It depends on the mood. I love these. I'm not a huge fan of metal straws because I don't bite my straws, but I still like don't like the way that metal feels on my teeth. But these ones are just too cute. Gosh darn it. I just will have to avoid like smacking my teeth on them. Oh, it says save the turtles in style because it's a good cause. <laughs> Well, I don't know if that's actually why, but like, you know, rebels with a cause. And it was designed by Paperback Bones. I'm really, really into this. Oh my goodness. I love that. Okay, wait. So the next thing is this little bag. And I originally thought it was going to be just a sticker, but then I realized it's just holding it together. Oh, it's a magic! It. That's really freaking cool. So it's a wooden magnet because Juniper and Ivy designs, they, they design like wood things. And it says, never allow yourself to believe you should be silent. Oh, I really like that. I really, really like that quote. I feel like this theme is very timely. Mm trying to like not spoil myself so this is I, I'm actually I'm not gonna look because everything's really close together on this spoiler card and I don't want to spoil myself for everything that's in here so I'm just gonna oh wait it's Juniper and Ivy Designs but I don't know if the quote's from something so we'll talk about it in the end all right so the next thing in here is the monthly pin which goes with the book so we're gonna set that aside because I don't want to be spoiled and ooh, oh there's two there's little like oven mitts they're not really mitts because, oh, but they're so pretty. They're galaxy themed and we have a pink and an orange one. And it says, may the stars keep you steady and the iron keep you safe. Oh, I like this. I don't know what the quote's from though. Oh, it's like fraying. I'll have to cut that. Oh, it's called a pot holder set. That makes sense. Oh, and it's a heart of iron, heart of iron quote. So I don't have to check the spoiler card and get potentially spoiled. So it's a heart of iron quote. And I'm assuming that this was made by Owl Crate, obviously, but I don't know who the artist was. Oh, Little Inkling Designs. Perfect. I like it when everything's on a card. I like getting kitchen stuff, but I feel like I never want to use it because I never want to ruin it. So that's kind of a bummer, but I just need to grow a backbone. What is this? This is a sticker sheet. I'm trying not to look because I think the book is like the next thing in the box. So we got this sticker sheet. Ooh, these are nice stickers too. They feel like vinyl stickers, which I'm a big fan of. So we have one from Neil Schusterman, which is hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. We have in a society that profits from your self-doubt, liking yourself is a rebellious act by Caroline Caldwell. You are your own best weapon by Marie Rakowski and no light te bastardes car carborundorum carborundorum by margaret atwood i haven't read a margaret atwood book actually but i i'm i'm aware of like what she writes that's really cool i really like the sticker sheet i'm not like too fond of the color scheme because i don't like it when blues and reds are used together for some reason but i love this and i love like the message behind it this is a really timely box like owlcrate could not have possibly known but it's coming at a very very vital time obviously if you've been following around everything that's been going on but this is just really nice I'm I really like this I love this sticker sheet I love that it's a very quality thick vinyl and you can use this basically on hydro flasks in your journals like sticker it up I feel like the next thing in here that I can feel is the book so oh oh wait 
That feels like something. Oh, that's nice though. So they said that in an effort to get your L-Box delivered to you as quickly as possible, they made the decision not to wrap your book in plastic this month, which I actually don't like the books being wrapped in plastic. I think it's kind of a waste of plastic. I mean, I understand that it kind of like keeps the integrity of the cover, but I, I really feel like it's a waste of plastic and I prefer it without it. So definitely happy about that. Cool. Now let's just like stare at the spoiler card and tell you all the things. The magnet was a quote from the bone season and I think that's the only thing I didn't really tell you. Oh and the sticker sheet was designed by Nerdy Ink. Nice, okay. Let's let's see what's inside. There was less items in the box but that's because again there is a whole extra book so let's let's see what it is because I'm kind of hyped. I love Oni Press. Ooh, ooh. Wow, my brain. I was reading that as an L-E-R, like T. I was very confused. But it says witchy in cursive. And it is by Ariel Slamet Rius. In the Witch Kingdom, Hyalin, the strength of your magic is determined by the length of your hair. Those that are strong enough are conscripted by the witch guard who enforce the law in peacetime and protect the land during war. However, those with hair judged too long are pronounced enemies of the kingdom and annihilated. This is called a witch burning. That's really intriguing. Too much power. See, everyone likes power if they can control it, but the moment that you have too much power, it's a no-no. I love the colors in this. I really, really like the art style. It's just really visually stunning. I hadn't heard of this at all, but I think that I'm really going to enjoy this. I mean, we all know that I love fantasy, so when you mix graphic novels and fantasy, I'm a happy gal already, but this one just sounds rebellious. I'm into it. I love this. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't wanna keep flipping through it just in case I don't spoil myself, but like, look at these colors. So just like, like all the pages seem almost like themed. Oh, this is really stunning. Okay, and now let's grab the book book of the month and it's gonna be really tight at the bottom. Okay, we're just gonna have to tip this upside down. <laughs> Little pamphlet things. Oh, so we got Incendiary, which if you watched the first half of my video, we're on the same page. But this is Incendiary by Soraya Cordova, and it seems to be a Spanish-inspired fantasy. Renata was only a child when she was kidnapped by the King's Justice and brought to the luxurious palace of Andalusia. As a memory thief, the rarest and most feared of the magical Moraya, Renata was used by the crown to carry out the King's wrath, a siege that resulted in the deaths of thousands of her own people. Now, Renata is one of the Whispers, rebel spies working against the crown. The Whispers may have rescued Renata years ago, but she cannot escape their mistrust and hatred or the overpowering memories of the hundreds of souls she drained during her time in the palace. When Des, the commander of her unit and the boy she's grown to love, is taken captive by the notorious Príncipe Dorado, Renata must return to Andalusia and complete Des's top secret mission herself. Can she keep her cover even as she burns for vengeance against the brutal, enigmatic prince? Her life and the fate of the Mariah depend on it, but returning to the palace stirs childhood memories long locked away. As Renata grows more deeply embedded in the politics of the royal court, she uncovers a secret in her past that could change the fate of the entire kingdom and end the war that has cost her everything. Honestly, very intriguing. Obviously, I'm excited. I love Spanish-inspired fantasies specifically. I love how many have been coming out this year, and I really can't wait to read this. Honestly, the summary really intrigued me. Yeah. All right, and now let's just go over the little stuff that was with it. Oh, the pin, let's grab the pin. So it looks like this month, the pin was made in collaboration with Penny Slug Design. They're just these crystals kind of wrapped with rope. It's giving me very strong Atlantis, the Disney movie vibe. I mean, I guess the city too, but the Disney movie vibe. I like it. I have no idea how that has to do with the story at all, but I'm sure it'll make sense once I read the book. So love that. Let's go over the fun little stuff. We do have the little postcard for Incendiary, which this looks sick. And we have the letter from the author. And for the pamphlet for Owl Crate this month, we have our interview with the author. We have the original. Oh, we have the regular cover and the Owl Crate. Oh, that's what the regular cover looks like for the US? It's this one? I prefer the regular cover. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, look how sick that is. I mean, she's just, she's floating. This looks amazing. And I'm not, I mean, I like that the Owl Creek one went a little bit more of that more simple route, but I really, really like the original. Ooh, I'm a little bummed, but it's okay, it's okay. You win some, you lose some. That makes sense though, because since their theme had to do with rebellion, they decided to focus on where the bulk of the rebellion in the story took place, which is the fire around the castle, which is the part that's on display. 
So I get it, I get it. I just really like how the girl looks. <laughs> then we have a just for fun crossword puzzle and then some recommendations if you end up liking Incendiary. We have a little interview with Little Inkling Designs. And then we have the photo challenge, the owl babble for Incendiary, which will take place on June 26th with Zoraida, which that's really cool. And then we have the playlist for the month, Rebellion in Their Hearts, a playlist worthy of a revolution. Here, and I'm gonna put this little code right up at the front just in case you want to check it out. I love all the fists for the Black Lives Matter movement at the bottom, and then they have the other releases that they're excited about for the month. Wait, Lobi Sona comes out this month? How did I forget about that? Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. And that's it for that. Was I in focus? Probably not. And then we have the little spoiler card, which for next month is gonna be All the World's a Stage. That's cute. I am a little creeped out by the artwork, but I feel like that's the point. And then there's gonna be some coffee in it from the Bones Coffee Company. I really like that company. They've included their coffees in there before and I still have two of the bags and I like honestly have to stop myself from constantly using them. It's very tasty. So now we're at the part of the video where I kind of compare and contrast just a little bit with the two boxes. So if you watched my fairy loot unboxing, then please stay. If not, well, I, I will have an outro, but I guess you don't have to stay for it. <laughs> Again, like I said, it really depends on the month. The fairy loot box this month was really, really strong. But if I compare the boxes from last month, my Owl Crate and my Fairy Loot. I would definitely have thought in my head that the Owl Crate won. So it really just kind of depends on the month and depends on what you like. So in this one, everything inside of it was really quality. I don't feel like any of the items are like throwaway items in the Owl Crate box. Again, there was really only one item that I considered more of like a throwaway item in the Fairy Loot. I'll say I definitely liked the Fairy Loot better this month, but it's just the products that were in it are more of my speed. And that's not to say that the Owl Crate products aren't. Like they were really, really good. We got like a whole bunch of metal straws that I'm gonna put really good use to. We got two whole books and the graphic novel that I'm super excited about. And both boxes came with a pin. They have their strengths, obviously. And now the funny part, because this is obviously I think what a lot of people are fearful of whenever they order both the boxes, is if you end up getting the same book. So this is probably one of the more frustrating parts with the Owl Crate and Fairy Loot kind of dynamic is it does tend to happen. And it's not super, super often, but I would definitely say like, mm, like 10 to 15% of the time this does happen. Mm. I don't know what to like say about that part. If you do end up ordering both the boxes, it's just a risk that you're gonna have to take. And the cool part is they never do have the same covers because whether they make special editions of the covers for each of the box, there's always gonna be the difference between the UK cover, or there's not always a difference, but there's usually gonna be a difference between the UK cover and then the US cover. And then both of the boxes lately have been changing the covers up even more from the standards. So there is that. And I was actually shocked to find, ooh, that's always frustrating, the height difference, but I I was actually shocked to find that the summaries were different for the UK versus the US editions. So that was a really fascinating find with you guys. But yeah, I mean, it happens. It definitely happens. But if you are a book collector, which normally when you're ordering these kinds of boxes, you tend to be more of a collector because you're in it for the merch plus the cool book, but the merch, you probably collect books. So it's not the biggest downside to having both of them. So if you have the money, I mean, go for it, I guess. But if you don't, I hope that this video kind of helps you discover which one you liked more, which one you like more. And I hope that the more of these videos you watch, the more you decide for your own taste which one you want, or maybe you'll switch it up every single month. I don't know. I'm not your wallet. <laughs> so I do hope this video was fun for you guys. I know you've been kind of craving my separate unboxing videos again, and I hope that this kind of hit that sweet spot. I really feel like I want to continue doing this. I just feel like it's a good fun time to open both of them at the exact same time. And I hope that you guys enjoyed that little aspect too. Just let me know what you think down in the comments below. I feel like the one downside to this is there is so much footage, guys. There is so much footage. So editing Brittany, <laughs> you probably hate me, but current Brittany, I'm very satisfied. I like opening a lot of things. So that's gonna be it though. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you so much to Fairy Loot and Owl Crate for sending me your boxes. I have such a good time every single month opening them up and I, I cannot complain. They are both amazing companies. Be sure to check the links down in my description. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're all staying so, so safe. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. Did I totally forget to mention? I totally forgot to mention that. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I am ready.
to go, to rumble, to people are talking outside my door. I feel like it looks weird all the way buttoned up. It just does. Oh, I didn't know I had that much bicep. Oh, my bicep didn't know I had that much bicep either. That's Latin. Okay, I think. Hmm. Don't ask me the hard questions. I'm literally just here to open up stuff. Mm -hmm.